Thank you, Lord Jesus, for exalting me. Oh, my gale pali and the papa. My leva libeli bili ke suba bali bili baba 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 bali gele bali gele bali gele bali bali baba baba e male gele bali baba baba ora baba le gele basi gele ba enkilo Jesus we bless you me ali bili gele braga te bili bo zuba baba baba ma 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 e bali gele bali gele ba Oh yes, Lord, we give you praise. Oh, my super God, the Bali and the Sipikili Prapapa, who melegede bra. Hallelujah. 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 Of excellence is your name, O oh Lord. Praise the excellent one. Excellent is your name. Excellent is your name. Excellent is your name, O oh Lord. Mm-hmm. Excellent is your name. Excellent is your name. Excellent is your name, O oh Lord. Wonderful is your name, O oh Lord. Wonderful is your name, O oh Lord. How wonderful is your name. How wonderful is your name. How wonderful is your name, O oh Lord. O oh Lord. How wonderful is your name. How wonderful is your name. How wonderful is your name, O Lord. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Mighty warrior, so great in battle. Jehovah is your name. Oh, mighty warrior. Grace in battle, Jehovah is your name. Jehovah, Jehovah is your name. Hallelujah, Jehovah is your name. Grace in battle, Jehovah is your name. Oh, Jehovah is your name. Hallelujah, Jehovah is your name. Oh, you are mighty warrior. You are great in battle. Jehovah is your name. Oh, him. Elohim. Jehovah. You are the Lord. Elohim. Elohim. Jehovah. You are the Lord, Elohim, Elohim, Jehovah. You are the Lord, Elohim, Elohim, Jehovah. You are God, you are a God of faithfulness. Without injustice, good and upright you are. Oh, you are a God of faithfulness. Without injustice, good and upright you are. Oh, you are a God of faithfulness. Without injustice, good and upright are you, my God? Yeah.
you are a God of faithfulness, without injustice, good and upright you are. Hey, my God, the brother, the brother, the brother. I'm going to worship the King of Kings, this worthy. Hey, my little brother, the brother, the brother, the brother, the Oh, ba 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 ba. Hey, my legal braga da lianda se bele de. Ala braga di anda se bele de de de. Oh, we call for intercessors from the north, the south, the east, and the west to join us. In the name of Jesus, Father, we give you praise, O Lord, Father, because our petitions are granted. Father, we give you praise because our prayers are sent as a sweet aroma. We give you praise, O God, even for this time of communion, sweet fellowship. We bless your name. Father, we thank you, Lord, for the impartation of strength. Thank you for renewal. Father, we give you praise, O Lord, Father, for angelic covering. We give you praise, O Lord, Father, for God, for, 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 for carrying us on eagle's wing, bearing us on eagle's wing. Oh, we give you praise, O God. Oh, Ragadebe, Ledo, Seketel. Father, we thank you for the dexterity even to combine this spiritual assignment with our daily activity. Oh, what a privilege. Ah, that is to seek you in this 12th month, oh God. Father, we thank you for this ninth day, the number nine representing fullfulness. We give you praise, oh God. Thank you for the mantle of fullfulness that is activated in our families, oh God. Oh Lord, we worship you. Oh, we bless your name. Oh, we worship you. Worship you, oh, we magnify you, we celebrate you. Eh, da gele braga de le lianda zabagada, oh, rabagada be a lianda zebegedu, le de de le braga de le de lianda zabagadi and a zebegede. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Emmanuel. Thank you, Rose of Sharon. Thank you, Lily of the Valley. Thank you, Brother Monister. Thank you, God that answers by fire. The God that answers our prayer. Oh, le bege segede, robagada balagada, ne braba baba baba. Oh, ragada galianda, the beggar de de dianda. Oh, Lord, we bless your name. Abba, Baba, Baba, eh, Abba, Fava, eh, ya, 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 ya. Abba, Fava, eh, le bele, bele, bele. Abba, Fava, Abba, Fava, Abba, Fava, eh, Rabba, Baba, Baba, Abba, Fava, oh, ragada, bele, de. Abba Father, eh, my Libra Gadianda, Abba Father, yes, Lord, we worship you. Abba Father, we give you praise, O God, be thou exalted, we worship you, we honor you. Thank you for this convocation of holiness. We exalt your name for this time of separation. Be exalted, O God, in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. Congratulations, welcome to the ninth day. Oh, what a privilege. We're going to be breaking our communion, taking our communion. So grab your own communion. I have mine. Grab your holy communion because we use it in a time of prayer tonight. We're going to activate the mantle of fruitfulness. The Lord just showed me that he's going to be cloaking us with the mantle of fruitfulness. So when you hear fruitfulness, it's not just biological fruitfulness because some of us are quivers are full. We are done with having children. But some just began. Some have not even started yet. And some desire the fruit of them. So today, the mantle of fruitfulness will be released not only for those looking for the fruit of the womb, but for every one of us on this altar to be fruitful in every area of our lives. And then to be able to pray for those looking for the fruit of the womb and activate it in their lives. That's the anointing that we are li- releasing tonight. And so I want you to grab your communion. We are going to use it in the time of prayer. So I will share the prayer points. I already shared the hymn. We are going to use it to sing. Um, we are going to use it to praise the Lord. Give me a minute. I am going to share the prayer points. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So I hope you have been having a good time in your fasting. I, I hope nobody is struggling in their fast. I can always encourage people first 10 days, there are 30 days, first 10 days, fast till 12 noon. Everybody skips breakfast more than a while. In fact, most people that I know don't eat breakfast. But you know what? You can use this one to honor the Lord. And observe the watches. That is what makes a difference and will not allow you to be hunger strike. And then the second week moves to 3 p.m. Body will have adjusted. I'm sure your body has adapted to it now. You don't feel it when you push yourself to 3 p.m. You know, I know a lot of people struggle with fasting. It shouldn't be so. And then hydrate yourself a lot. And then um, the last week, you can move it up to 6 p.m. Not only that, you can also end with an Esther fast. I will explain what an Esther fast is in the course of, our, um, in the course of a few days so that you know what to do. And then observe the watches. 
I think this is our best fast so far because we're observing four watches together. You know, I, I, I've, I've gotten a lot of feedback. People are encouraged. And I also have a testimony to share at the end of the, the session today. So let's sing our hymn together once ago. Now thank we all our God with hearts and hands and voices who wondrous things has done in whom his world rejoices who from our mother's arm has blessed us on our way with countless gifts of love and still is ours today. Oh, may this bounty of God through all our life be near us with ever joyful hearts and blessed peace to cherish us to keep us in His grace and guide us when perplexed and free us from all ills of this world in the next. All praise and thanks to God the Father now be given, the Son and Spirit bless, who reign in highest heaven, the one eternal God, whom heaven and earth adore. For thus it was, is now, and shall be evermore. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Like I said, tonight is the mantle of fruitfulness that has been released. Let's begin to give thanks to God for the institution of marriage. Let's exalt him for the covenant of marriage, give him praise. Adore him, worship him, Magede, Bragade, Leander. Oh, Father, we worship you for the privilege to partake of this mystery. I'm grateful for making me a divine partaker of this great and precious promise in Christ Jesus. Oh, Lord, I give you praise. Come on, give him praise. Give him praise. I don't care what your marital status is. Just give him praise. Exalt his holy name. You know that we give prophetic praise and we give succeeding praise. Give him praise. Just exalt him because in Christ Jesus, you are a partaker of these precious promises. You are a partaker of the great promises. He's in Christ Jesus. It's part of the package. It's part of the salvation package. Give him praise. Say, Father, I thank you. I thank you for the mantle of fruitfulness enacted over me from the beginning. And it's something that is enacted is a bill that is passed. God released that bill. His law is a legislation that he released. He enacted it when he created man. He said, so God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him. Male and female, he created them. Then God blessed them and God said to them, be fruitful, multiply, fill the earth, subdue, have dominion over the fish of the sea, over the birds of the air, and over every living thing that moves upon the face of the earth. I want you to give thanks to God because he said, be fruitful, multiply to man. The Bible said he created us in his image. Male and female, he created us. And that he declared over man. He said, be fruitful, multiply. Over the male and the female that he created. Come on, give him praise, give him praise, give him praise. Say, Father, I praise you. Eternal rock of ages, I adore you. Oh, Father, we bless your name. Oh, Lord, we worship you. Be thou exalted, O God. Be thou magnified, O Lord. Magida Lianda, Zabaga Dalianda. Father, we thank you for the mystery of marriage. Be thou exalted. Thank you for these precious promises. Thank you for these great promises. We are so grateful. Take all the praise and glory in Jesus' name. In Ezekiel chapter 16, verse 8, he said, When I passed by you, I looked upon you, and indeed it was your time for love. So I spread my wing over you and covered your nakedness. Yes, I swore and oath you and entered into a covenant with you, and you became mine. I want 
want you to thank the Almighty God for entering into a covenant with us, everlasting covenant. It is an unbreakable covenant, ironclad covenant. He's a married to Jesus. Come on, give him praise. This was where God was talking about Israel and the covenant that he had with them. But he has given us the same grace. The Bible said that Jesus Christ is the bridegroom of the church. We are his bride. And he said he loved the church so much he gave himself for her. He, he cleansed her, washed her by the cleansing and the washing of the water of the world. Come on, give him praise. Say, Father, I thank you for calling me your own, for entering into an everlasting covenant with me by your precious blood. He said he entered into a bloody covenant with Israel. Say, Father, I thank you. Lord, I thank you for saving me from the power of sin. Oh, my God, my brother, Leander, thank you for giving me the authority to walk all over darkness, barrenness, shame, and reproach. Hey, God, the brother, the brother, Leander, thank you, Lord, for calling me your own. Thank you for entering into a covenant with me. Hey, Rabba, God, Leander, Safa, Gayagata, Oh, Rebbe, Gessica, Leander, Zabagada, Hey, Bale, Braga, De, Leander, Zabagadia, Hey, Bale, De, 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 Oh, Father, we give you praise. Take all the praise and glory in Jesus' name. Amen. The Bible says in Psalm 68, verse 5, he said he's a father to the fatherless, a judge of the widow, or a defender of the widow. He's God in his holy habitation. God sets the lonely families. God plants the solitary in families. He brings out those who are bound into prosperity and the rebellious dwell in a dry land. I want you to thank your mighty God for planting you in a family. Why don't you say, Father, I thank you for planting me in a family. Thank you for planting me in my family of orientation and the family of procreation. For those who came to this or none of us dropped even if you don't know your earthly parents none of us drop from him home nobody every one of us comes through a womb somebody's womb i want you to thank your mighty god say father i thank you hey god the brother the leander for planting me in the family thank you lord thank you father for the power of influence I have in prayer. Thank you for my family of orientation and my family of procreation. I thank you for the family I was born into and the family I'm married into. Father, take all the praise and glory. Thank you for the power of influence that I exude in person, in prayer. I thank you for the power of agreement we are exude as a family. The Bible says when we chase a thousand two, we put ten thousand to flight. That's the reason why it brought us together. It not us great destinies in family. Say, Father, I thank you. I thank you for showing me the vision of marriage, for showing me the vision of family. The Bible said in Malachi 2, 15. He said, do not deal treacherously with the wife of your youth. He said, as you not made them one because he desires a godly seed, a godly offspring. Father, I thank you for showing me ah, Lord, the vision of marriage, the vision of family. Thank you for the power of influence. Hegemony is the ability to influence others. When you come together and you can influence other nations. That is what God wants us to do. He wants us to exceed authority as his ecclesia on the earth. I want you to give God praise for the power of influence, the power of truth that he gave, even in our marriage in our union. Even if you are single, you can still speak to your future and say, Father, I thank you for the power that you have ordained for me to enjoy in marriage. The power of agreement, the power of hegemony, the power of influence. Egade, bragade, belianda. Father, I give you praise. I exalt you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now we are going to pray some prayers of deliverance and, 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 and consecration, some prayers of forgiveness. I want you to begin to say, I cover my life with the blood of Jesus. I cover my life with the blood of Jesus. Whatever comes to mind right now, you better be praying it. Even if it's not written in this note, pray. Say, I cover my life with the blood of Jesus. I cover my marriage with the blood of Jesus. I address every error in my past. If you have a sin to confess, confess it before the Lord right now. I declare that my foundation is rid of every form of sexual and ancestral iniquity. My marital destiny is repaired by the blood of Jesus. Father, forgive me for every sin. Have mercy on me. I cover my family with the blood of Jesus. I cover my marriage with the blood of Jesus. I believe that there are some people who need to confess the sin of adultery to their spouses. You need to confess that sin of adultery. If not, you will not be able to carry this mantle. It's a heavy mantle. God wants to entrust it to his consecrated vessel. I perceive that some need to confess interesting things to their spouses. And you need to confess to God. You need to make you need to make bear your chest. You need to make clean your conscience. You need to have a conscience that is void of offenses before God and man. You need to confess the sin. The Bible says, Who covers the sin will not prosper. He said, But he who confesses his sin, he will receive mercy. He will receive pardon. You want to receive the mantle of fruitfulness, you better confess the sin. 
Ebranda, Dabrala, Dabianda, say my foundation is rid of every sexual impurity, every ancestral iniquity. My marital destiny is repaired by the blood of Jesus. My marital foundation is repaired by the blood of Jesus. Egade, Bragada, Bianda, Sapakasa, say I nullify every demonic spirit of transference through illicit altars, illicit sexual altars. I break all soul ties. I declare no weapon formed against me or my family or my home shall prosper. No weapon formed against my marital destiny shall prosper. Every demonic plot to make me stumble or to make my husband or children stumble. I said it shattered to pieces in Jesus' name. The Bible said that we gather not by me. Everyone that gathers for our sake will scatter. The Bible says that, eh, that no weapon formed against me shall prosper in Isaiah 54 from verse 14 to 17. I'm paraphrasing that scripture. I want you to pray in the name of Jesus. I nullify every transparency through illicit altars, sexual altars. I break all soul ties. Hey God, they break that they leander. Soul ties. I break them. I declare no weapon formed against me or my family shall prosper. My marriage will flourish. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. I want you to begin to break every yoke of hardship, toil, intention, trauma in the name of Jesus. Anything that is working against your marriage right now, break it. I break every yoke of hardship, every yoke of toiling. Some people are trying so hard, but they're not even able to make ends meet. I want you to pray and say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I break every yoke of hardship. I break every yoke of toiling. I break every yoke of tension. I break every yoke of trauma in the name of Jesus. I declare that the power of two works for my marriage according to Ecclesiastes chapter 4 verse 9 to 12. We are better together. We have a good reward for our labor. The Bible says in Ecclesiastes chapter 4, verse 9 to 12, said two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor. For if they fall, one will lift up his companion. But what to him does alone when he falls? For you have no one to help him on. Again, if two lights down together, they will keep warm. But how can one be warm alone? He said, though one may be overpowered by another, two will stand him. And the threefold cord is not quickly broken. I want you to declare by your marriage and say, ah, the power of two works for me. We have a good reward for our labor. The power of two works for my marriage. Get we lift each other up physically, mentally, emotionally, spiritually. We will not put each other down. We lift each other up. We encourage each other. We help each other at all times. We enjoy warmth and intimacy in our marriage. Our love for one another deepens by the day. Our marriage gets sweeter and better. Our wine gets sweeter and better. I enjoy warmth in my marriage, intimacy. Even if you are single and you desire to be married, declare this thing by faith. Leander, how we lift up each other physically, emotionally, professionally, ah, psychologically, spiritually. We are there for one another. We help each other at all times. Ah, prayerfully, we help each other. Ah, we enjoy warmth and intimacy in our marriage. Our godly vision cannot be stormed. I said our divine mandate cannot be overpowered. In the mighty name of Jesus, the Bible said that we, even if one is, uh, if one can withstand him, he said two. Uh, he said he cannot overpower two. He said they cannot withstand two. I want you to pray. In the mighty name of Jesus, our mandate cannot be stopped. Our mandate cannot be overpowered. In the mighty name of Jesus, our vision cannot be stopped. Our divine mandate excel. Our divine mandate flourishes. In the name of Jesus, we conquer territories for the Lord together. We are bound to the Lord in an unbreakable threefold cord. He said threefold cord cannot be broken. In Jesus' mighty name, I want you to declare, I activate the mantle of fruitfulness over my marriage today. I activate the mantle of fruitfulness over my marriage. I activate it. It's already released from creation. But I activate it today. I declare that my spouse and I, if you're a man, say my wife and I, if you're a woman, say my husband and I, we operate the keys of the kingdom. We demonstrate the power of influence. The Lord said, you know, have dominion, subdue. You have that power. And Jesus Christ gave it to us again when he came. He released it upon us in Luke 10, 19, in Matthew 28, verse 18 and 19. And he gave it in several places in the Bible. The Bible said in Ephesians 2, 6, that we reign with him in the heavenly places far above his past and power. He said we reign with him in Ephesians chapter 1 verse 21. Come on, take this man to write down and activate it. Say, I declare that my spouse and I will operate the keys of authority, the keys of dominion, the keys of the kingdom. We will demonstrate the power of influence in prayer. How we enjoy explosive results in the name of Jesus. Exponential results in the name of Jesus. Our prayer life gets better. Our prayer life gets sweeter. Better and better in the name of Jesus. Hey God, they brag that the one we chase a thousand, two we put ten thousand to flight. In the mighty name of Jesus, Amen. The Bible said in Psalm 120. Remember, I said that the midday was Psalm 120 is one of my favorite verses. Um, my one of my favorite psalms um, of scriptures. It said. 
Blessed is everyone who fears the Lord, who walks in his ways. When you eat the labor of your hand, you shall be happy, and it shall be well with you. Your wife shall be a fruitful vine in the very heart of your house. Your children like olive plants all around your table. I want you to declare today. I declare the heavenly mandate of God is enforced over my family. This is God's word over our family. This is the mandate of heaven over our family. This is a picture of marriage. This is what God wants for our marriage. Our marriage should not be empty. It should not be barren. It should not be like a desert ground. It should not be a place of demonic infestation because demons like des- deserted places they like prayerless places they like they like lukewarm places they like sad places they like quiet places i want you to declare in the mighty name of jesus i pray that my family is fruitful i declare the heavenly mandate of god is enforced over my family we are a Exceedingly fruitful, we multiply. The fruit of our body is blessed. The fruit of our land is blessed. We have dominion. We subdue the earth according to the words of the Most High God. Our children are like only plant round about our table, and there are arrows in the hand of the mighty warrior. According to Psalm 127, remember Psalm 127 is right before Psalm 128, and they are back to back. They are not separated. Is the is the people who canonize the Bible that separated them? So it's one same one one old script. I want you to declare in the mighty name of Jesus. Jesus, ah, my children are like arrows in the hand of the mighty warrior. In the hands of God, they will not misfire. I declare, in the name of Jesus, according to Psalm 128, it said, Blessed is everyone who fears the Lord, who walks in his ways. He will eat the fruit of his labor. In the mighty name of Jesus, I enjoy the labor of my hand. I will be happy. It is well with me. Hey, God, the brother, the brother, the other. I'm a fruitful vine in the very heart of my husband's house. My children are like only plants. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are exceedingly fruitful. We multiply. The fruit of our body multiply. The fruit of our land is blessed. Our business is blessed. In the name of Jesus, everything that we lay our hands to do shall prosper. We have dominion. We subdue the earth according to the words of God. Our children are like holy plants round about our table. In the name of Jesus, their place will not be vacant. I want you to declare. Mm. Their place will not be vacant. If you have room in your house and you are married, you are looking for uh, uh, f- uh, fruit of the room, I need you to set a space for the children you want to have. In the next one, you set up a space for them. Set up a space on your dining table if you have that room. Set up a space. Put plates there. Put um, things. Change it regularly. Put nice plates there. <laughs> you, are out, you are exercising faith. Put set up that place on the table. He said, my children will be like olive plants round about my table. If you have designed the foot of the room, if you desire two boys, put plates for boys there. Put a place mark there. Create a space for them on the table. If you want girls, create space for the girls on the table. If you want one, if you want multiples, create the space on your table. I want you to declare, just like the scripture say, he said your children shall be like holy plants. They are like holy plants all around your table. Only plant. The reason why I said only plant is because only plant will multiply. It grows like grapes. It's like a cluster. It's not one by one. I want you to declare in the mighty name of Jesus. The mantle of fruitfulness is activated over my family. In Jesus' name, I release the mantle of fruitfulness over my household. I activate the covenant of peace over my family. We operate under a new dispensation by the blood of Jesus. Romans 8 to says that the law of the spirit of life, the law that multiplies, <laughs> the one that that gives life, resurrection and the life, the one that allows us to subdue and have dominion that says fruitful multiply, the one that uses his mouth to create, he said that we have that life in us. He said the law of the spirit of life has made all fruits from the law of sin and death. The one that made someone to miscarry, the one that made somebody to have spontaneous abortion, the one that made someone to have no spam count, the one that made somebody to have all kind of complications. I want you to declare, I release the mantle of fruitfulness over my household. I activate the covenant of peace over my family. We operate under a new dispensation by the blood of Jesus, I cancel all evil trend in my bloodline. I cancel all evil trend in my bloodline, in my husband's house and in my father's house. In my mother's house and the family I married into, I demolish every stronghold of barrenness, every desert spirit I bind you, I cast you out. In the name of Jesus, I want you to declare, you can fill in the gap, you can put in anything you want, but the things I wrote here, no more ungodly delay. Mm. No more barrenness. We break the influence of third party over our family. No more widowhood. In case somebody always has to die young in your bloodline. No more widowhood in my family. No more untimely death permitted. No more separation. No more divorce. No tension. No marital conflict is come is permitted in the name of Jesus. The evil cycle must stop. The evil trend must stop. No more separation. No more divorce in the name of Jesus. No more tension. No more godly delay. No more barrenness. No more old maid 
season. Ha, kele bragada bragada ba. Ha, no more old 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 single man that is taking care of himself. No more. In the name of Jesus, we break the influence of top parties in harassing marriages. No more widow. No more time needed. No more kade bragada bragada. No more separation. No more divorce. No more tension. E kade bragada lianda. No more marital conflict permitted in our household. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You are going to pray. You say we enjoy agreements and open channels of communication every day of our life. I silence every noise of the underworld against my marriage. Come on, begin to pray in the name of Jesus. Every every cry of the underworld against my marriage, I say, silence them in the name of Jesus. Every tongue that rises up against me in judgment, I condemn in the name of Jesus against my marriage, against my husband, by the powerful blood of Jesus, by the power in the blood of Jesus. I renounce the vision of the king for my marital destiny. I enforce the, 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 the mandate. <laughs> oh, yes, the vision of the king for my marriage. I receive restoration for all lost years. The Bible said the years that we can't come, the palmer on the caterpillar. He said they will compensate. Were you not here yesterday when we prayed? He said they will give us compensation. Come on, begin to claim those compensations. He said after you have suffered, they were first Peter 5 10. He said they will set to you. He said they will set to you. He said they will set you. I see the Lord settling somebody. I see the Lord settling somebody. Your outcry has been in the area of your marriage and your marital destiny. The Lord is settling you. I want you to declare, I renounce the vision of the king for my marital destiny. I receive restoration of lost years. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. I want you to declare. <clears throat> I activate the mystery of marriage and the mantle of fruitfulness over my family. I decree that we are fruitful in every area of our life. Remember when we started, I said that fruitfulness is not only in carrying pregnancy. Fruitfulness has to do with every area. Fruitfulness is when you are buoyant economically. Fruitfulness is when you are, when you are advancing um, in, your, in your vocation, when you are making it in life. Fruitfulness, the Bible says in Psalm 1, verse 1 to 3, we are going to do that prayer in one of our uh, midday, midday watch. I love I, some more verse one so much. He said, verse one to three, he said, he said it will be like a tree planted by the river, bringing forth his fruit in season. He said, we will be having children in season. It's not only children that mess when we have fruitfulness, we only think, oh, children. It's not only children. You have to be fruitful. He said, it's like a tree planted by the rivers of, of water, the river of life, the one that comes from the tree of life, from the threshold of the temple, from the right hand of the throne of God, according to Revelation 22. He said, it will be like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not, will not wither. He said, his leaves do not fail. He said, whatever he does shall prosper. Whatever he does, whatever, his marriage prosper, his business prosper, his children prosper, his spouse or his wife prosper, his, her husband prosper. That is the tree of life. That is the tree of life. When that tree of life is in you, you will bring forth fruit. When you meditate on his word, you will bring forth fruit. I want you to declare, I activate the, the mystery of marriage. I activate the mystery of marriage and the mantle of fruitfulness. Mantle is not just a strip of clothing. Mantle is a whole cloak that envelops you. Say, I activate the mantle of fruitfulness over my life, over my family. I decree that we are fruitful in every area. I am fruitful. My husband is fruitful. Our children are fruitful. I declare that I'm exceedingly fruitful. I multiply according to the word of God. The fruit of my body is blessed. The fruit of my land is blessed. I bind and cast out every spirit of the desert. I bind and cast out every spirit of the desert. I set the terror of the terror angels of the Almighty God against any power and forcing barrenness. If you are barren, if the doctors call you barren, I want you to reverse it right now. If they told you all kind of things, in potential no sperm count, uh, uh, infertility, whatever name they call this, uh, polycystic uh, 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 syndrome, uh, ovary syndrome, uh, uh, fibroid, uh, 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 blocked, you, um, blocked fallopian tube, uh, inverted fallopian tube, blocked uterus, a uh, 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 whole kind of diagnosis. I want you to pray right now in the name of Jesus. You spirit of the desert, you desert spirit, you barren spirit, you spirit of emptiness, you spirit of food lesson I cast you in the name of Jesus and I bind you. I cast you out in the name of Jesus. Hey God, the brother Daliana, we set the angels of the Almighty God against you right now and we declare anyone called barren on this altar is fruitful. They come back with their testimony in one year's time. Hey God, the brother Debra Lagato Liana, who yet gets super to Liana, we set the terror angels of the Almighty God against you. And God, the brother, any power enforcing barrenness, whether barrenness of the hands, barrenness of the work of the hands, whether barrenness of, of, of finances, whether barrenness of career. Whether barrenness of academic, whether barrenness of destiny, whether barrenness of the womb, Magade, Ledelian, that Sepekato, Hela Bragata, every spirit of emptiness, every empty womb syndrome, we curse you right now in the name of Jesus. Gadebra Lado Seketelianda, Heba Legese Ketelianda. I see the Lord healing body parts. I see the fire of God glowing on men and women in your, in your, in your, in your, in your, in your, in your 
precious parts. Hey God, they bring that the Leander Sepeke to Leander. I see the fire of God healing you in the places where you hold your eggs, your seed. I declare your seed is blessed. The Bible said the generation of the righteous is blessed as you decide to walk with the Lord, as you decide to covenant with him. You are healed in all your body parts. You are healed in all your inward parts. You are healed in all your precious parts. You are healed in the name of Jesus. Hey God, they bring that sick tell Leander. I see that one enveloping you right now. I see the warmth enveloping you. Hey, the fire of God engulfing you. Hey, that braga da blanga to lianda, seket lianda, shifa katalianda. Father, we exalt your name for healing. I see both men and women healed. Hey, God, the brother, so Liana, we give you praise, oh God. Ah, come on, declare. I declare. I walk in the full understanding of my marital destiny. You need to have understanding of who you are in Christ Jesus. I walk in the full understanding of my marital destiny. Hey, God, the brother, that I receive the power to raise godly seed unto the Lord. I declare that my successive generation displays God's glory. My successive generation displays God's glory. My children will serve the Lord. My generation will serve the Lord. They will display God's glory and splendor. As you have the masses crown jewels. In the name of Jesus, my children will serve the Lord. Father, baptize my family with fresh fire. Baptize us with fresh fire. Let your flame kindle upon our family altar. Let your flame kindle upon our prayer altar. Even on this line, you don't have prayer altar in your family. Go and create one. You must have one. Whether you pray in the morning or in the night, does not matter. You must have a prayer altar. You must pray with your children. If you have no children, you must pray with your spouse once a day. Even if it's for 20 or 30 minutes, you must do something. You must praise God, read the Bible, and you must pray together. Come on. Have that family altar. Establish it. You know, this year we mean business with you. You must not end this year without starting that family altar. It's an instruction and it's a commandment from this altar. I want you to pray and say, Father, baptize my family with fresh fire. Let your flame kindle upon our altar. Let your fire engulf us in our family for generational impact. Use us as your fiery arrow. Use us to dismantle stronghold of darkness in our ancestry, in our generation, in our nation, in our city, in our churches. Use us, oh God, as your battle axe, as your battering round. The name of Jesus as your weapon of war, as your nutrition instrument, we shout it. Anoint us, O oh God, with your fire and go forth with your power. The fire that the enemy cannot cope with, the power that the enemy cannot cope with. Hey, God, the brag the Leander, say, take it to Leander in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. You are going to pray, Father. Raise intercessors from my home, raise intercessors from my home, raise watchmen from among my children. I yield them to you, use them as you will. I raise them as men and women who will stand in the gap for nations and generations to come. Father, let your hand rest upon them. Ah, Father Lord, someone did not have a choice in the matter. The mother already covenanted him to you. I covenant my children like someone was given to you. I give up my children for your use. Father, use them. Father, use them. Father, use them. Hey, God, they bring that beyond us. Hey, God, they bring that beyond us. Hey, God, they bring that beyond us. Raise my children as men of war. Raise our seed, O oh God, as a prosperity to you. Make us a, a force and they tear us to the kingdom of darkness, to the forces of darkness. Make us a force. You told Pharaoh, you told, um, uh, you told Moses, see, I've made you a terror to Pharaoh. I've made you a God to Pharaoh. Let our children rise up so God that's terror. Ah, Father, make my husband and I a terror to the kingdom of darkness. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. You are going to pray. As a household of kings and priests, grant us your common grace to offer the incense of prayer, morning, afternoon, and night. In Leviticus chapter 6, verse 12 to 13, he said, make sure that you burn the incense of the altar. Make sure that the fire does not go at morning and night. He said at morning and at twilight, I want you to declare in the mighty name of Jesus, as the household of kingdom priest, according to First Peter 2, 9. Oh God, give us the uncommon grace to so offer the incense of prayer morning, noon, and night. Our baggage, they brag that tirelessly. Let us pray to you. Help us to pray to you in Jesus' name. Amen. As parents, we refuse to be negligent in our role. We have the role to play. We have the role to play. I want you to pray and say, Lord, help us to play the role of intercessor as a prayer covering for our children, for their destiny. We take full responsibility as custodian. We take full responsibility. We take full responsibility, we take full responsibility as custodians over their lives. Over their destiny, we cover them in prayer. We refuse to be negligent. We refuse all of that to be negligent. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. I want us to begin to pray for our singles, that they will become the royal diadem of the Lord. The Bible said in Isaiah chapter 62, verse 3, it said, you shall also be a crown of glory in the hand of the Lord, <laughs> a royal diadem in the hand of our God. You shall no longer be called forsaken, nor shall your land be termed desolate. You shall be called Esteba, and your land Beulah, for the 
Lord delights in you, and your land shall be married. They will no longer be termed forsaken or desolate by their names. In the name of Jesus, their names shall be called Beula. Come on, pray for our singles. Say their names shall be called Beula. Their names shall be called Esteba. They will no longer be called the forsaken. They will no longer be termed forsaken. We release angels on assignment to bring their spouses from the north, the south, the east, and the west. Egad, the Braga, the Lianda, Sapakatianda. We pray for all marriages associated with the Imatu Prayer Ministry. Father, show each one the true vision you have for them and their spouses. Release the godly seed you are not turning for our generation from each home. Show every family the secret of their destiny, like you showed to Abraham, your friend, in Genesis uh, chapter. 18 verse 19. Chapter 19 verse 18. Father, Lord, show, Lord, Father, everyone on this altar the purpose you have for our family in the mighty name of Jesus. Let's begin to pray for our children. Let's raise them as royal them before the Lord. Pray that they will fulfill everyone's mandate for their life. Declare that they will make the Father proud by living consecrated life. They will marry as virgin. They will be ushered into their divine destiny early in life. They will be satisfied early. They will not be stranded in life. They will live in purity. Father, we pray for our children. Both the male and the female will marry as virgins. In the mighty name of Jesus. Our children will be your royal diadem. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I want you to pray for all those who are hurting. All those who are separated. All those who are divorced. All those who are mourning right now. All those who are widowed. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus for healing and restoration. We pray that they will operate to the power of influence on their prayer altar as individual and even as they will find other believers outside of their home to join forces with. Ah, Father, we pray that you meet everyone at the point of their needs. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus, O oh God, for all those who are brokenhearted right now, all those who are hurting, all those who are separated, all those who are divorced, all those who are widowed, O oh God. Ah, Father, those who have loved, loved, lost loved ones, whether they lost spouses, whether they lost children, Father, Lord, in the recent months, in the recent years, Father, have mercy. We pray for healing and restoration. We pray that you, they will operate the power of influence on their prayer altar. They will find somebody to join forces with her mother with daughter, father with son. They will wield the power of hegemony, the power of influence, the power of air, air, the power that comes from prayer, that exponential power. Where you say, when we chase a thousand, two, two we put ten thousand to fly. I pray in the name of Jesus, oh God, have that exponential power that is progress, that, 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 is, that is powerful, and that in its progression is exponential. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus, so God, ah, Father, Lord, that dynamic power, they will, we put it upon them in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I want us to pray over our communion right now. Grab your bread. I have mine, and you are going to pray. And say, Lord, let me emerge from this prayer altar as a wonder to my world. Let a new me emerge. I don't know what you came here for, but I want a new thing. I want to hear God, but I want to see Him clearly. I want to walk in His precept. I don't want to do guesswork. I don't want to play games. In come 2021, if the Lord tarries, Lord, I don't want to miss it. Let a new me emerge. Father, show me the secret code for my destiny. I want to know it. Let this altar activate that secret code. Reveal to me by your Holy Spirit what eyes have not seen. The Bible said in 1 Corinthians 2 9, it said, But it's written, eyes have not seen, ears have not heard. But it has not entered the heart of men the things that you have prepared for those who love you. And the Bible says you have revealed them to us through your spirit. For the spirit searches all things, hear the deep things. Reveal the deep things to me. Reveal the deep things to me, Lord. Reveal deep things to me, mysteries to me. Adegele bragada. Rebada legeliada. Father, show me the secret code concerning my destiny. Father, show me the secret code to use that we use to unlock my destiny scrolls, my destiny books in heaven. Father, show me who you made. Introduce me to me. Let a new me emerge from this altar. Let a new me emerge at the instance of this communion. Open my eyes. Let me see the things that you have ordained for my life, for my destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus, I want you to take the bread and break it and eat it in the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Take the cup and drink it in Jesus' name. Lord, we exalt your name. We give you praise. We exalt your name for this communion table. Because you said for us, often as we do it, we bring to the day to remember the Lord's death till he comes. Soon coming King, we ask in the name of Jesus that you visit us mightily on this communion table. You will 
effect and activate every destiny that is laying fallow, laying dormant. Father, we pray that the divine deposits will find the expression. You said the endless expectation of creature. Wait for the manifestation of sons of God. Let sons manifest on this altar. Let giants of faith emerge from this altar. Let apostles, prophets, pastors, teachers, entrepreneurs, inventors, manufacturers, Father Lord, kingdom pillars, let them rise from this altar. Healers, miracle workers, administration, governments, Father Lord, men of influence, men of prayer, apostolic watchmen, let them emerge from this altar. Educators, O oh God, influencers, O oh God, physicians, O oh God, oh, Magede Lianda, physicians, assistants, O oh God, our Father, professors, researchers, Oh, Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. Let them emerge. Father, let there be an expression. Business magnates, oh God. Bakers. Father, Lord, we pray. Restauranteers, oh God. Multiple teams of businesses. We call them forth in Jesus' name. Father, we thank you, Lord, Father. Oil merchants, those that we, we have oil fields. Like Job, we call them forth in Jesus' mighty name on this altar. Father, we thank you. Details of destiny is revealed and released to us in Jesus' name. Teachers of the word, that the Lord author, singers, worshippers, prophetic worshippers in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you because, Lord, all this and more you will do for us in Jesus' name. I want us to round up quickly and look for a long-standing issue in your life, in your family, address it before the Lord right now. Say, Lord, send, send speedy answer concerning this matter. Send speedy answer concerning this issue. Ega de braga de belianda. Place that matter before the Lord. Ask the Lord to reveal to you. Ebra de braga de lianda. Father, Lord, reveal yourself concerning this long-standing issue. That the Lord give me an answer of peace. Give me an answer of peace. May lage eledu se eledu se ket elianda. Ask the Lord to reveal to you what that matter is, what that situation. See, tell him to teach you. The Bible said in Psalm 144 verse 1 that the Lord teaches our fingers to fight and our hands to war. See, Lord, teach me. Give me divine intelligence concerning this matter. Give me secret. Give me solution. Give me answer. Give me revelation. Give me dream. Give me vision. Father, inspire and instruct my understanding. Instruct my reigns, O oh God, in Jesus' mighty name. Let's begin to give thanks to God for answer prayer. Come on, give him praise for answer prayer. Lord, we exalt your name. We worship you. We thank you for answer prayer. Be thou exalted. Be thou magnified. We bless your name. We worship you. We thank you. We sing hallelujah to you. We magnify you. We thank you because you are so, so faithful, so kind. What a marvelous God you are. What a kind God you are. We give you all the praise and glory. Thank you daddy love Lofa for the mantle of fruitfulness, the mantle of healing released upon this altar. We exalt your name because Lord is activated in our life on this altar of blessing. On this altar of prayer, that the Lord on this table of prayer, we give you praise, O oh God, because the mantle is released. Thank you for angels cloaking us, O oh God, with the mantle of fruitfulness, activating, O oh Lord, our destiny in every individual. Father, we exalt your name, we worship you. Thank you, Lord, for eye popping encounter. Thank you, Lord, for eye opening instruction. Thank you, Lord, for heart warming, O oh Lord, for that revelation. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. Eye popping, ear opening, <laughs> hallelujah, and heart warming revelations, amen. Have you been blessed? We have come to the end of today's session. I want to give the testimony to the glory of God. I'm humbled. In two days, the Lord helped us to raise that seed that we wanted. We hit the 10,000 mark. God is so faithful. He helped us. I'm so, so humbled. I give him praise. In fact, I weep for joy. This is just marvelous. This is the Lord's doing. It's marvelous in our sight. And we'll be able to minister to those families that God has led us to minister to. We'll share their testimonies. We'll share um, proof of what has been done. We see it. And for everyone who has given, the Lord bless you. For everyone who desires to give, the Lord increase you. May He give seed to the soul and bless, bread to the eater. And for everyone who has been a blessing to this ministry, may heaven open over you. May your secret petitions come in a hurry. May God mark your seed as a memorial. May your prayers be answered. Like I said when we started, to take this offering and say, you can't buy a miracle, but you can provoke, you can provoke a miracle through sacrifice. For as many as have provoked, for as many as have given this sacrifice, you have provoked them. May heaven respond accordingly in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you because his face will shine upon you. May you enjoy his countenance. May you enjoy his instruction. Solomon gave a thousand bucks of rings and the Lord visited him. May you enjoy visitations upon visitations. As this year closes, may you enjoy the remnant blessing, the closing blessing of this year in Jesus' mighty name. May your prayers be answered. 
I pray that all those who are looking for the fruit of the womb, may you enjoy divine testimony. <laughs> hey, groundbreaking testimony. I'm looking at the picture of my of my of my son here, and I know that the Lord can do anything. He can do and undo. In fact, it's just right here on my prayer altar, because it's a miracle child. God will give you that miracle you are looking for. That child you are looking for. That bone of your bone. That job, that breakthrough, that answer, that healing, He will give it to you in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Please remember to join us at midnight. I want to ask all the mothers who are expectant and those who are standing in God for somebody, bring a piece of clothing. You can bring um, anything that you want to use to represent. Maybe a blanket, maybe a onesie, uh, a baby shoe. Bring something at midnight. We are going to anoint it and stick to it. One year's time, you will come back with your testimony. Believe it. You will come back. And for those who have my book, Power to Conceive, go and read it. Go and read it in preparation for the pregnancy. I see so many babies. I see so many stomachs. <laughs> ah, the bellies are getting round. I see them. Amen. Come at midnight. Let's anoint those things. In the mighty name of Jesus. It will be prophetic activation. I'm coming back at midnight. See you at midnight. Let's share the name of true benediction. I am blessed with the blessing of the Father God Almighty. I am blessed with the blessing of heaven above in Christ Jesus. I am blessed with the blessing of the field. I am blessed with the blessing of the deep within. I am blessed with the blessing of the breast. I am blessed with the blessing of the womb. I am blessed with all spiritual, material, and marital blessings this season. I am blessed when I go out and when I come in. My blessing exceeds that of my ancestors and all those who have gone ahead of me. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. God bless you. See you at midnight bar for now.